The state's largest private employer, United Technology, says the federal government shutdown may result in 5,000 furloughs by the end of the month. As we first reported last night, Sikorsky and Stratford will be first to be hit with furloughs. 2,000 on Monday. Other UTC divisions could soon follow. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more and with what UTC workers are saying tonight. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Keith and Sonia. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. One of the state's top economists told me today this is all happening much faster than anyone thought. It scares everybody in there. Anytime you're talking furloughs, it's definitely on everyone's mind and the anxiety level is way up. Word that Sikorsky will furlough 2,000 workers Monday has increased the anxiety level at jet engine maker Pratt & Whitney as well. Sikorsky says the shutdown has completely stopped their ability to make and support helicopters used by all U.S. military branches. They can't work because government inspectors that okay the work have been furloughed. The very same federal government inspectors do the same type of work at Pratt & Whitney's plants in East Hartford and Middletown. They have also been furloughed. All the parts that we need to be uh, inspected so that the whole flow of the uh, engine builds can be done is, uh, is come to a stop. It's going to stop the F-135 program that we have going on for military, the F-100s. So our guys are real concerned for coming up into Christmas time. Very scary to have this happening. I think Congress really has to get to work, much like we want to stay at work. The hundreds of small subcontractors that make specialized parts for the jet engines that have only recently started hiring again are obviously also affected. Every time we get ahead of steam, um, they find a way in Washington to screw it up. One of the state's top economists says it's happening faster than anyone thought and it could totally derail the state's recovery. We are in a, a sustained period of job growth, but this of course throws a big monkey wrench into that. Now, it appears that these furloughs will be heavily weighted at UT UTC's divisions here in Connecticut, but they say it'll also affect their division in West Palm Beach, Florida, and Troy, Alabama. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.